General Motors is not giving up muscle cars. While the final edition of the Chevy Camaro might be the last one with a bow tie badge, the company will continue producing pony cars. Recently, Car and Driver published a full page ad about Pontiac Comeback. But, the disclaimer says it's fake. Why would they waste a full page of profit for fake news? The idea of reviving Pontiac isn't new. For years, a large army of fans has been urging General Motors, the brand's owner, to bring it back. The recent fake ad has fueled further speculation, and here are the key takeaways. Camaro is done, but GM isn't. As in many other segments, the battle between Chevrolet and Ford is legendary, and it's arguably most intense in the muscle car class. Although both automakers have discontinued most of their sedans and hatchbacks, pony cars have endured. So, while the end of the Camaro was surprising, it wasn't entirely unexpected. But, General Motors is not giving up entirely on these and leave the entire market to its archrival. That's why they're prepared to resurrect an old nameplate with a devoted fan base. Pontiac might be making a comeback. What fans say? Pontiac left a significant mark in the pony car industry, and there's still a vast army of fans eagerly awaiting its comeback. When General Motors announced the return of the Camaro in 2010, it was somewhat disappointing. Now enthusiasts are dreaming about Pontiac again. But dreams could be shattered by tears. An era of big V8 engines is almost gone, and such powertrain is a perfect match for a pony car. Packing a vehicle with a turbo V6 might turn out to be another letdown. There's also the worry that the Pontiac Trans M or GTO could end up being just a rebadged Camaro. However, this is a more acceptable option than an electric pony car, and should be taken seriously especially with the Dodge Muscle EV concept already unveiled. With the Camaro out of production, the question remains, what will General Motors use for NASCAR? Some fans speculate that this could be the perfect moment for Pontiac to make a comeback, though Chevy enthusiasts mention the potential upgrade of the current Camaro ZL1 to the SS version. A 6.6-liter L8P seems like a perfect solution with 523 horsepower and 543 pound-feet of torque. General Motors still clings to V8 engines. But this won't last for too long. Other companies are moving away from big units, replacing them with turbocharged V6 plants, which are as potent but more efficient. This is the trend, but GM isn't jumping on that bandwagon. Instead, they seem inclined to focus on electric drivetrains, potentially integrating Pontiac into their Our Electric Future Is Now initiative. This situation presents a double-edged sword for the company. Old Camaro and Pontiac fans may resist the shift to electric vehicles, and even drivers less passionate about muscle cars find it challenging to reconcile these two worlds within a single vehicle. The simplest solution is the carryover. Future Pony Car will inherit engines from the current Camaro. V6 is an entry-level setup with 335 horsepower, which will be enough to make the car sprint from 0 to 60 in just 5 seconds. Camaro is becoming a true muscle with a 6.2-liter V8. It shaves off one second from the 0 to 60 dash thanks to its 455 ponies. High-end models will feature an enhanced version of the power plant that delivers 550 horsepower and accelerates to 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds. These cars were popular in the past not just for their performance but also for their affordability. Of course, upgrades driving up prices, and today even entry-level versions are quite expensive. So when you spend a lot for a ride, you expect versatility and efficiency, which is why crossovers and SUVs dominate the market. But they can't match the driving experience of a pony car. If you need transportation, buy a crossover or an SUV, but if you want an exhilarating driving experience, buy a muscle car. Whether it's the all-new Camaro or a revived Pontiac, prices are expected to rise. The base version could start around $35,000, while a supercharged engine could push the MSRP up to $85,000.